Welcome back YouTube, BST here, Valenspiece Tech, and the topic of today's video is going to be good luck. Good luck and One UI 5. You probably know that One UI 5 is now stable. This means that after the fifth beta, we get the stable release, which is actually also funny because we know that China guys got a beta 6, which we apparently are not getting. But with Samsung, it's like this. They seem to be doing quite too many things at the same time and things like Aspect Row update, things like the new camera system, they are just now hitting us, the reviewers, and we just try to make it up and etc. So, the topic of today's video is going to be good luck guys. I want to show you all the models that got updated and then probably also show you what they can do. I will start with the best news, perhaps the best model for me out there is the home up. And finally, with the version 14.0.0.12, it is available for One UI 5, only available for One UI 5. Before this version, you were just not able to start home up and use it on the One UI 5 betas. The next thing that was updated for One UI 5 is the Quick Star, now with the version 6.1.0.5.20. Supports seconds clock on the panel and supports data clock on the indicator. So Quick Star also made a move. Clock face, guys, available in One UI 5 based on Android 13. And I do believe that's very important because the new lock screen functionality, right? This uses clock face. Remember, I showed this in one of my videos. One UI 5 new things. If you want to change the clock face or the clock on your lock screen and you want to get a bit more custom, then this was the solution. Lockstar also now available for the One UI, so version 5003 update for One UI 5 devices. And it gets even better because Wonderland also do support the One UI 5.0 with the version 1227. And Theme Park, I mean, Theme Park support was there for a while, but now official One UI 5 theme support and also improved quick panel bright bar custom user interface. This is what I think we all love about Samsung. And we know it's not perfect, like the whole ecosystem is just great, this lux and etc. Those things, I don't really pay that much of attention. It might look like it, I do because I do a lot of video, but I just want to get behind all of that. It's just a great ecosystem with so many tools and things and features to get your thing going. So yeah, all right, guys, the next thing available for One UI 5 is also Notice Star. Version 510800, One UI 5 support, fix an air related lock screen entry point icon, and of course, other UI bug fixes. I like it when they do it like this. And yeah, that's then it. Guys, and now it's about time to show you some of those models, how they do work. And before I do so, guys, make sure to subscribe for the channel, hit that bell notification icon so every time i do upload a new video you know what happens right you probably take some rest from your favorite nintendo 2ds xl or whatever your thing is and yeah watch one of my videos let's start i'm gonna open good luck and of course the first thing i want to show you guys is the home map so you are going to be able to find home up under the makeup and by the way this new split here makeup and life up this was introduced in one of the good luck manager changes one of the recent changes so Home up. Enjoy the improved One UI home up model. Now, there are plenty of things that you can do with home up. I'm not going to show all of this because I'm going to have to make like a two hours video, but I promise that someday, some days I'll do so. First thing, of course, is the home screen, guys. You can pretty much fine tune this to your own requirements. I personally use the task changer. Why? All right. That's the standard stuff, guys. We get like the recent menu. Boom, use that one and you get the nice iPhone stack view, all right? But use that one and you know this very, very nice grid view. You can also get the slim list, which is really, really crazy, right? And again, one of the reasons why Samsung One Yo is, not probably, it is the best mobile operating system, allowing so much, many more, whatever you want to say, customization, right? That the other operating systems, the mobile one, don't just have. And you have to root your phones and etc. and etc. Also, the vertical list, if that's your thing. And they, by the way, guys, they have also this very nice mini mode. So let's say you want to get the stock list, right? And use the mini mode, which, yeah, I think is very, very, very sweet. 
All right, now it's time to check the Quickstar, redesign your own quick panel user interface. I am gonna turn this to on and show you the many things that you can do. You can potentially go inside the visibility of the indicator icons and let's just now pay attention. Boom, no mobile signal guys, all right? Or you can also remove the volume bar, all right? Or even the Wi-Fi icon. Things like this are so tiny, people think, yeah, I don't, what? That is not a big deal, but it is a big deal. Better your icon, right? Because you are not able to do this like this in most of the other Android implementations. Just, it's a huge list, guys. You can also style your own quick panel. Let me just show you guys. Right now, that's the standard stuff I get, but let me just try to use that one. What will happen? The Quickstar module is going to utilize the theme park and actually install a new theme. And all of this works just with two touches, right? So this is why I'm willing to accept all the starters and etc. And now I have a brand new experience on my phone and I pretty much did nothing. Right? I just, just, just clicked some things. Let's try the green one. Again, quick star invoking theme park and boom, everything now green. What will happen when I turn it off? Yep, an interesting question. That's, that's something I would like also to see. Will I get back my default view? Yes. I mean, yeah, what can you want? More, it's just perfect. Now let's check clock face, guys. Clock face is the real deal. So always on display lock screen. Let's just enter the one for the clock screen. So you are able to customize your clock on the always on display and also on your lock screen. And remember, in order to have this very fancy animation, let me show you. If you wanna get this nice traditional animation from the always on display, guys, to the lock screen, then you need to make sure you're using the same clock style. Plenty of options there here just for you, customized only by this and this finger. Now let's see what we can do with lock star. Create new lock screen and always on display styles, right? And this is, again, all of those things, guys, they're so interconnected. If somebody's trying to play with them, they might feel lost. And this is why we create these videos, really trying hopefully to give you a bit more transparency and a bit more clarity. All right, so if you wanna subscribe to the channel, much appreciated. <laughs> Lockstar, all right. Lockstar, you need to grant the permissions. Let me switch these two on. This, by the way, is what I have right now, and I can show this to you guys. This is pretty much what I have right now. Now, if I click inside, guys, I'm gonna be able to just, yeah, perform these changes and move those icons. So let's say, let me just try to add a sticker, guys. Why not? So I'm just gonna throw a sticker here. Okay, sticker there. I'm gonna save this one, all right? Yeah, now the interesting part. What will happen if I go back to my lock screen and you can see, guys, the changes all applied. I can go back. I can, of course, press reset, all right? I hope that works. Yep, probably not. And I can press auto layout, but okay, I'm still able to just <laughs> remove those uh, emoji icons. I don't need them or just turn it off. I mean, beautiful, right? And I promise guys, the name really sticks with this module. Remember when Apple was bragging about having this parallaxed wallpapers and etc. Well, this is pretty much what you can do with Wonderland. So click it inside guys create your own moving wallpaper. I just wanna show you something, guys. I'm gonna go for that one, all right? I will now set this as a wallpaper, not only on my home screen, but also on the lock screen. And yeah, just prepared to be amazed. Now take the phone in the hand. Yeah, I mean, it's just really crazy. And you know, it really works very, very nice. Now, of course, if you wanna use that one, you need to be prepared to pay the price, which is gonna be battery life, but this is damn beautiful. It is, it really sticks to the name, like I told you. Let's now also quickly check theme park, easily and quickly create and apply themes. This is probably also one of the other, like my all time favorite models. Why? Because you can create and fully customize the way your phone will look like. Let me show you something, guys. If I hit the create new button, and I'm then able to choose wallpapers from my gallery, from everything else, you are gonna be presented with so many options, I am absolutely sure you are not even aware they're here. And I'm not joking, guys. The design elements, dark mode, night mode, they are really so much, right? Going down to the keyboard, where you can just use custom themes to the quick panel styles, to your icons, to the volume panel, I mean, you can just get crazy with all the options that Theme Park has. And the last model updated for One AI 5 is the Naughty Star. Manage the notifications history easily. 
this is also a very nice model people don't really use that so often but application list guys will give you all the apps that are generating notifications and the notification storage period can also be tweaked to even no limits yes right and it's actually quite nice because right because from this model you're going to be able to go back and check all of your notifications the whole history now myself i'm not using that but you know i feel very nice just from the fact that it's there and you know what else will make me feel nice guys if you decide to subscribe for my channel so if that's the case please do it now stay safe you and your family and we are going to meet each other in one of my next videos with that said vst over and bye